What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are breaking Fallout 76 with the Thirst Zapper. Starting off everything, we need to get ourselves a Nuka Thirst Zapper. To be able to do so, head over to the Nuka World on tour location in the Ash Heap region. Once here, you then can make your way inside Cappy's Nuka Cade. Inside the arcade, you just need to activate one of the four terminals inside the location. Upon doing so, you'll find five different levels of prizes. For the Thirst Zapper, we need to go to prize level three. Here we can find the Thirst Zapper for 6,000 points. Now to be able to get these points, you must either complete the events in the location or just do the arcade games inside the arcade. Once you have your Thirst Zapper, you then can bring it over to a weapons workbench and roll for whatever legendary effects you'd like. However, this does not matter however, whatsoever with what we're doing. However, now over the mods for this weapon, this is where the magic happens. We have three different Nuka Cola mods to get a ton of damage out of this weapon. However, if we use just the squirt gun, we get to have an infinite amount of grenades. Whether it's a plasma grenade, frag grenade, a Nuka Cola grenade, you get to have an infinite amount of them. However, if I was to equip one of the Nuka Cola mods, this would not work whatsoever. You have to have the squirt gun mod equipped. So with that being said, let's get to some demonstrations with our Nuka Thirst Zap. For our infinite grenade demonstrations, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center, and that's so I can nuke all these disgusting super mutes. But let me make sure I have the correct grenades on. I'm going to go with the plasma grenades, because, well, of course, those will get the most amount of damage. And as you can see, I only have three. So if I was to throw one of these, it will not go down whatsoever. And as you can see over there to my right, I still have three. And look at that explosive damage. Oh my god, holy crap! Do not want to get close to that. That will definitely kill me. There we go. And yes, I do have the squirter on. As you can see, absolutely amazing. And just so you can see inside of my menu real quick, we still have three plasma grenades. That is absolutely insane. Now, I'm not the best with grenades whatsoever, but if you are, here you go. Here is your perfect grenader build with a Nuka Thirst Zapper, of course. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What am I getting hit with? Oh, God. Oh, God. We got ourselves a floater. Well, guess what, Floor? I will not let you take me alive. I'll do it myself. Let me just throw a couple of these on the ground real quick. Hopefully they explode. All right, they're not exploding, but I'm surviving this. Holy crap. Is that all y'all got? Huh, losers. I'm trying to kill myself. And I can't even do that. Oh my God. Yep, that's definitely not helping me. I didn't know I was invincible. Jesus. But as you can see, we have an infinite amount of grenades. Do with what you will with this information before it gets patched by Bethesda. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over the unique weapon Gunther's Big Iron. So if you want to check it out, I'll link to the screen right now. You see that? That is Gunther's Big Iron video.